question? I'm not really sure. <laughs> but I guess we could really talk about the recording stuff. Um, yeah. Because I like have um, work. I guess made up a list of things that I think would be decent to record. It sounds to me like this is more than one session. Yo, oh, yeah, this is more than one session for sure. Yeah. So I, I say record all of it except maybe the mio if you're not feeling awesome about it. Okay. So if you did Aus Liebe, Blue Tenor, Vore, Music for a While, Boykin, Poulenc, Cassandra, Mozart, that's eight. Um, and I like to say to people, like, let's say you have two sessions and you record eight pieces, you would be very lucky to have six things that you can really use. Yeah. yeah. Maybe five. Okay. So if you just set the expectation so that you don't feel upset or disappointed, that's just how it goes. Okay. All right, I'm done my voice lesson. I got my groceries delivered during the voice lesson. So let's let's put those in the fridge. They're out there in the cold, so I'm not really worried about like the refrigerated stuff, but let's let's go we'll get them anyway. refrigerated bag but we've got a butternut squash look at this one look at this butternut squash hmm okay <laughs> um and then we've got uh, some smoked salt they didn't have the plain malden salt which i like a lot but we got smoked salt so i'm gonna try that i got two cans of diced tomatoes tomatoes a refill of milk and yogurt oh my god I got feta cheese, but I thought the container was like really small, but it's not. It's enormous. It's feta. Oh my god. This is so big. Well, I won't run out for a while. Feta. We got some uh, little leaf salad and a red pepper. All right, next. Whoa. Halls are dangerous, you guys. Next, I got two zucchini squashes. Your girl eats a lot of these. I got a big ass bag of kale. This comes through in a pinch when I'm like, I don't know what to do. Kale and something. I got broccoli florets and some celery sticks. Last but not least, you know we got to get some eggs up in here. Um, so I think we are good to go. Yeah, we got food. All right, I am going to eat the other half of my steak that I made last night, maybe with some green beans. And I'm gonna, this is my, my lunch, I guess, cause I haven't eaten all day. It's my steak, that's not very pretty or whatever. But uh, so I will meet up with you again a little later. I haven't even uploaded the video for today yet, so it might be late. Who cares? All right, I gotta go. Hello, I have eaten my lunch. I feel tired, very tired. Like, I'm not even gonna front. Um, but, I think I can get my exercise done if I do it at five. And then it only takes 30, and then I'll have 15 minutes to like get ready to go to rehearsal, even if I have to go in my workout clothes. First of all, it's like really cold in here. I mean, I, it, I don't think it's cold cold. I think it's like, it says it's 71, but I'm freezing. And I don't know what that is. Um, I hope I'm not getting sick. That would be really bad. Um, my legs are cold and I have on like these, I have two pairs of socks on, so it's not, it's not good. But I thought since I have a moment, <laughs> we could open the espresso machine and set it up. Maybe we'll have a cappuccino. I've had too much caffeine today already, so probably not the wisest choice, but we're gonna do it anyway, cause YOLO. The only thing I may regret is maybe I won't sleep well tonight, maybe. You know, who cares? I also just, made the mental connection that my Clue app said that my period was like tomorrow. So there's that. I'm 46 years old, but every month I'm surprised that the day before my period I get a headache and feel like crap. Why? I forget about it every month? It's like, oh yeah, it's time for your body to completely betray you and for you to have cramps for no reason, pain, headache, fatigue, all that. There's Clover. Do you see him? 
it really isn't fair having a uterus. It's just not. Like, why do I have to go through all this? Right, Clover? He's coming over. He's like, what are you doing? The cutest dog in the world, I swear. Stop being so cute. Okay, in the meantime, we have a fancy new, this is very fancy. Are we crooked? We're crooked again. This is a very fancy espresso machine. Now my husband said this is my early Christmas gift, so thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Organized Soprano. <laughs> Mr. K, baby. Whatever you want to call it. Um, very generous. So this is like not, this is a nice fancy espresso machine. I'm not even going to front like it's not. So this is the Rebel Impress Touch, which apparently is a foolproof espresso machine for dummies who can't make espresso the normal way. All right, this looks like the top of the box. I should have opened it the other way. Am I supposed to pull this out? Or now it's now it's upside down. Oh, okay. I wonder if we can use this straight out of the box or if we need any like accessories. I was hoping we could just use this straight out of the box. Here it is. Bravel Impress Touch Impress. Did I say Impress Touch? Touch Impress. So it's got a grinder. It's got like a whole digital screen. It's got a tamper which tamps itself so you don't have to tamp and mess up everything. Um, and it's got a little steaming dealio. And I'm excited. I'm excited to set it up where the, the Keurig machine was. Time, so let's take it out what it looks like. I think we ordered the black because matte black things are sexy. Is there memory storage? Oh my god, he's like messing around in the bathroom. You have to see. This is his new favorite thing. What are you doing? Why do, you, why do our dogs do this? Why? That carpet was not like that. He comes in here, he like messes it up and then lies on it, like makes his little bed, his little nest. Okay, ooh, here's the porta filter and the, oh, it's heavy. Look at that. First one, does it have plastic in it? It looks like it has plastic in it. What is this? Water filter, it has a water filter. And it comes with some descaler. What is all of this? All right, how do I carry this? Gonna... Oh, it's not that heavy. <laughs> all right, girl, here she is. It's quite sizable. Um, I think I'm gonna like read the manual, set it up and make a coffee drink. I, am I gonna get to my workout? I might, but I don't know when that is. When I come back from rehearsal, I don't know. I just wanna have, I just wanna play with this. We're gonna plug it in, we're gonna play with it and we're gonna have some fun. Look, there's the tamper. I'm, I'm very excited. Oh, let's, okay, let's peel, let's peel. Oh, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. And this, this is where that like plastic piece goes. Anyway, let's take some of the tape off. Seems satisfying. Excuse me, why are you there? You, are you asking for treats or food? None of those are happening right now. I'm gonna slide it around this way. We love the tape peeling ASMR. Oh my god. Wait, get into it. <laughs> that was very satisfying. There's definitely tape underneath here. Uh, ooh. Okay. This whole thing comes off, I guess. Okay, let's let's just take the whole Ooh, okay, okay, wow, okay, there's a box, there's a box. Listen, it's just curiosity, pays off. Okay, tool storage box. That is clever AF. What is in the tool storage box? This is for testing, why is this in German? Is this for testing water pH? Is that what this is? Half of it's in German and some of it's in English, which is fun, but like, I don't, I don't know. Then there's, there's this little thing, which I don't know what that is. What, what's this? I don't know. And this must be for cleaning. These must be for cleaning tools. What is this razor thing? What is this? Let's find out. Let's find out. The razor. Oh, I know what this is. It's a dose trimming tool. That way, when you put your espresso in there, you can go like this. And then you can even out 
the dose. I don't know how like precise I am with that, but let's put that in there and wrapped it. Um, it's exciting. All right, I'm gonna figure this out and then I'll be back. It's probably gonna take me like an hour. All right, I finished setting it up. Ironically, we only have a few whole coffee beans. <laughs> I have been grinding like beans and making like uh, coffee not with an espresso machine. So I need to buy some coffee beans today. So I think I'll do that on the way home from rehearsal tonight. But like, I'm ready to, I'm ready to go. I washed all the things. We did all the things with the water. Um, so let's see, where's our test result? Here we go. The trip was for testing the water hardness. So I got the water hardness here. So we're gonna turn this on and see what happens. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Power. Ooh, oh my gosh. You can't see the screen, but it's like a little, it's like some latte art on it. There you go, now you can see it. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna prime a hot water spout. Caution, hot water. Okay, here we go, start. There we go. <laughs> okay, you have successfully set up your machine. Let's brew some coffee. Oh my gosh. Get to know, okay, this is 10 minutes. So we've got all these choices. We can have just plain espresso. We can have a latte. We can have a flat white. We can have an Americano. Where's Cortado? Are you, why are you limiting me, machine? This is gonna be our cup, okay? It's gonna be our cup. We don't have like a fancy espresso cup or cappuccino cup. We're not that fancy. Okay, so cup under the water spell. Tap on the hot water button to start. Tap again to stop. Where's the hot water button? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Where's the hot water button? <gasps> okay. What? Please. Oh, it's heating my cup up. Oh, that's so fun. Wait, it's heating my cup up so that it's hot? Okay, top again to stop. Okay, let's stop it. Continue. All right. Now that, oh. Okay, we are using a dual filter, dual wall filter. Um, and we're gonna use the one cup basket because we're not, I'm, I'm not gonna be up all night, okay? Okay, leave your grinder at current setting. And if you're unsure to set, set, if you're unsure, set to 20 for now, okay. Um, how can I set, how can I, how can I set it? Oh, oh! So when I turn the button, this is, there's like a button on the side here. When I turn this button, it adjusts, it's gonna adjust the grind size so we can go, Lower, we're gonna go to 20, like it suggested. We're gonna we're gonna follow the rules. I'm really challenging my camera's white balance today because I keep going from like different light to there it goes. <laughs> white balance is struggling. Okay, uh, there we go. Uh, get ready to start grinding, port a filter, tap the port a filter image to start. Note, calibration is best done with a double filter. Well, then that's all we got. Okay, so we're gonna put it here, I guess. <gasps> Ooh, yes, the selection came on. <laughs> press the lever all the way down. For best results, press the lever twice. Okay, we're gonna tamp once. And then we're gonna tamp twice. Oh, we didn't tamp all the way. Low tamp, oh no. Tap the portafilter image to add an extra amount, okay. <laughs> all ready to tamp, okay, here we go. Tamp, low tamp, no. <laughs> This is a tragedy. Ah! Oh, great, okay. Oh, that scared me. Uh, that's the correct tamp height. We got it. All right. Um, okay, next. Insert portafilter into group head. Place your cup under. Okay, we're gonna pour out that coffee. I mean, that, that water, hot water. You ready? Here we go, testing brew. All right, let me, I'll get a close up, I'll get a close up. I don't know. It's our first real espresso in the house. It looks kind of creamy. It smells good. We gotta get some coffee. Right, too fast. Oh no, am I just watering? No, why 
are you like this? Too fast. Adjust grind size. Okay, maybe we won't do that, but maybe can we taste it? It looks all foamy. Yummy. It does taste kind of watery, but it's fine. Empty portafilter and wipe clean with a damp cloth. Okay, we don't have one of those fancy like portafilter um, trash cans, but we're gonna empty it anyway. I should try again, maybe? The espresso tastes nice, it doesn't taste bad. Um, but maybe I like it when it's watery. Maybe that's, maybe it is a little weak. All right, we're gonna, maybe we'll, okay, we'll try again. We'll... Hi, Tamp. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna get coffee everywhere. How are you, how are you meant to like? All right, let's try again. Still? Oh, Tamp done. Okay. This one's probably even worse. <gasps> Your machine is now brewing high quality ca cafe quality coffee. Okay, empty the porta filter. All right, it's, the mi it's milk time. It's milk time. Let's do this. It's empty. All right, I got the cold milk. Um, lift the steam one and look. Let's take our espresso. It's got a nice creme on top. Looks like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, um, ensure. The mug sits on the sensor. Oh, that's the sensor here. So it's like, it's gotta sit, oh, interesting. Oh. It's going crazy in there. And everything, can you see? Your temperature? Oh, but you can barely read it. There we go, frothing is done! Oh my God! Lower the wand and purge, all right. That's what we're doing. What if I pretend like I know what I'm doing? What if I, what if I pretend? What if... <laughs> it can be learned. It can be learned because now I think it's, look. It's a cactus. Enjoy, thank you, I finished. Coffee drink at five, probably a bad idea. This is it, my friends. <laughs> we have arrived. Hi, I don't know if you know, we've just met. I'm Kay, I'm a barista. Welcome to um, the Organized Prano Cafe. Would you like, a, a, would, would you like a, a flat white? Here you go. This tastes so good. <laughs> friends, we've, we've leveled, we've leveled up. We've leveled up. We are now making like legit, this is the best coffee drink I've ever had in my house. we've leveled up. The, the milk froth is so soft and magical. And the coffee is just tasty. It's per... What are we naming our cafe, friends? Um, I just, please leave a suggestion in the comments. <laughs> this is the most insane vlog. Okay, it is now, it is now five o'clock. I can work out. I'll work out now. We gotta get it over with. Feels like daydreaming. I love my life, I don't care about all the chemistry. I know what to do. I feel like I'm in the middle of the night. 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 Can you see me? 
it's dark. Anyway, I managed to get the workout in. I had to skip a few sets to like get it in on time. Can you even see me? It, well, you can hear me. Um, and now I'm parked in Cambridge to go to a rehearsal. Oh good, I can take the tag off my, my keys there from the dealer. So today's been kind of a, a, a long one. Um, so I've got an hour and a half left and then we're going to be done, baby. So <sighs> Friday I have off. Friday I have off. It's going to be great. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to get out of my car and we're going to, we're going to go sing some songs, singing some songs. It's good times. All right. I am back. Clover has greeted me. My husband's out with friends and I'm having the smallest little dinner, most cute little dinner. Sauteed some kale and I have one egg cooking. <laughs> it's like the smallest little lamest dinner. I'm just really not that hungry. So, okay, we're ready. We are ready, Freddy. Clover, please. Cheese on it? I don't know. I might actually eat some avocado with this too. It's pretty good. But look at how jiggly the yolk is. Look at, isn't that pretty? This is gonna be good. All right, this isn't like fully ripe, but we're gonna work with it anyway. All right, crushed red pepper on it. That feels like the move. Woo! All right, I don't know. Maybe it's not enough food. We'll see how I feel after I'm done eating it, but I, that's what I'm eating. Okay, what a day. Um, I'm gonna eat my dinner, put myself to bed, and we'll see you tomorrow for my first morning cappuccino. I'm very excited. I, be, I gave my cappuccino to my husband, by the way. I didn't drink the whole thing or flat white, whatever the heck I made. I'm very excited. Okay. <laughs>